In this rapid developing world, we have been seeing the IT organizations are moving their software development process from the traditional waterfall model to rapid changing agile process. Also, we have been often hearing this word BDD everywhere. But have you ever wondered what BDD actually is and also how it is impacting the existing agile process? You can find answer to all these questions in today's video. Hey guys, welcome to Elevate Techie and in today's video, I want to discuss about BDD. So let's dive in. First, let me say what BDD actually is. So you might be wondering whether it is a tool or a process or a practice. So I would say BDD basically is a software development process which follows few practices to build a better end product using the tools like Cucumber and JBehave. And if you are wondering from when and where it started, to be in short, back in 2006, Daniel Terhorst explained BDD in his first article, Introducing BDD. And it basically evolved from the thought process of how to write the test based on the behavior rather than how to test. So, as you know, in TDD, we'll be focusing on how to test an application. But in BDD, we write tests based on the behavior of the application. This is the main difference between the BDD and the TDD. So we can say that BDD is the extension of TDD, but it mainly focuses on the behavior of the application. We have got this template of as a I and so that for writing the user stories. And from there, we got it grew to given when then. So in BDD, we will be using mainly given when then keywords to capture an user stories acceptance criteria in an executable form. So now you have got the idea of what BDD is and the origin of BDD. Let's see how to follow BDD and what are its advantages. To be precise, the whole process of this BDD can be explained in the three main practices, which are discovery, formulation, and automation. So let's see each of them in detail. In BDD, first what we get is a user story. Then it goes to the first phase, which is the discovery phase, where we have the requirements as a user story. And then all the teams, mainly the three amigos, which are QA, Dev, and PO. So these three mainly brainstorm about the requirement and talk about the change to the system through examples of a new functionality to explore and discover. And finally, all comes up with the agreement of what the expected output is, which is known as definition of done, DOD. And then it goes to the formulation phase. And in this, we'll be documenting the examples which we have discussed in the discovery phase in a way they can be automated and also check for the agreement. And then we have the last phase, which is automation, where we will be implementing the behavior which we have described in these documents through the examples. And this starts with the automated test to guide the development of code. Then what we get is a working software as the end product. So this is the whole process, how the BDD can be implemented. So you can see that through this whole process, BDD is mainly aiming to collaborate and develop the end product rapidly by following the small iterations. So which is basically what we do in the agile process. So now let's see what BDD has to do in the agile process. If your team is already following the agile, the thing we can say is that the BDD doesn't replace the agile methodology. What it actually does is that it enhances the existing agile process by many ways. One is that within the discovery phase, it helps the team to have the right conversations at the right time so that you can spend minimum amount of time in the meetings and maximum amount on the valuable code you produce. And the other is that it reveals the gaps in our understandings through the brainstorming sessions and lets us know where we need more info before we know what to do. And also by writing the examples using the Gherkins, which is based on the common English language, we are establishing a common shared language 
across all the teams to talk about the system. So this is helping in better understanding of the requirement and better collaboration. Through this, you can say that BDD using all these practices is enhancing the existing agile process instead of replacing the process. So the next question we get is how to implement BDD. So this is where we got Cucumber and Jbehave coming to picture. So Cucumber and Jbehave are basically the tools which we use for designing our scenarios in BDD. To conclude, what you can say is that BDD is a software development process which uses Cucumber or Jbehave tool to enhance the existing agile process to build the better end products. So that's it for this video guys. Do let me know your views in the comment section. Hope you learned something new today. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel. See you in the next video.